Good morning and welcome to Monday Morning Prayer for Monday 18th of December 2023. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle. And I'm the Dean of Newcastle, Catherine Bowyer. I acknowledge that this service is recorded on the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal and Moromai peoples. Christ Church Cathedral stands on these lands and St Peter's Hamilton stands on the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal peoples. I pay my respects to Elders past and present and to First Nations peoples joining in this service today. With the Diocese and the Cathedral community, I am also personally committed to the work of Makarata, of repenting of sins of past and present committed against First Nations peoples, of minimising of voice, of dismissing experience. I am committed to listening to the wisdom of the elders, to repenting of those sins and changing my ways and my understandings, to walking gently upon these sacred lands and seeking always to work for justice for all peoples. Monday morning prayer is found in the prayer book on page 390. Yesterday was the third Sunday in Advent, Gaudaute Sunday, and we light the rose candle as a sign of that joy and rejoicing. Monday morning prayer, as I said, found on page 390 in the prayer book, or following along using the ePray Daily app, which you can download free from the app store on your device. Our reading today comes from the book of Revelation, and our psalm is portion of Psalm 107. We make our prayer in the name of the Holy and Blessed Trinity revealed to us as the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier of the world. Amen. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 107 on page 337, saying verses 1 to 22. Verses 1 to 22, Psalm 107. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his loving mercy is for ever. Let the Lord's redeemed say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered in from every land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some went astray in the wilderness and in the desert, and found no path to an inhabited city. They were hungry and thirsty, and their heart fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their distress, and he took them out of their trouble. He led them by the right path, till they came to an inhabited city. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness, and for the wonders that he does for the children of Adam. For he satisfies the thirsty, and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and in deadly shadow, bound fast in affliction and iron, because they had rebelled against the words of God and scorned the purposes of the Most High. So he bowed down their hearts with affliction. They tripped headlong with none to help them. 
Then they cried to the Lord in their distress, and he took them out of their trouble. He brought them out from darkness and deadly shadow, and broke their chains in two. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness, and for the wonders that he does for the children of Adam. For he shatters the doors of bronze, and cleaves the bars of iron. Fools were far gone in transgression, and because of their sins were afflicted. They sickened at any food, and had come to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their distress, and he took them out of their trouble. He sent his word and healed them, and saved their life from the pit. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness, and for the wonders that he does for the children of Adam. Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell what he has done with shouts of joy. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came among us in great humility, that on the last day, when he comes again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, beginning at the 11th verse. Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name inscribed that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. The armies of heaven, wearing fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name inscribed, King of kings and Lord of lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice he called to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come, gather for the great supper of God, to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of the mighty, the flesh of horses and their riders, flesh of all, both free and slave, both small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against the rider on the horse and against his army. And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed in its presence the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who had worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulphur, and the rest were killed by the sword of the rider of, on the horse, the sword that came from his mouth and all the birds were gorged with their flesh. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you have made us and all things to serve you. Come quickly to save us, so that wars and violence shall end, and your children may live in peace, honouring one another with justice and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The response to rejoice in the Lord is give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, give thanks to his holy name. We rejoice, O Lord, in your liberation. May your church proclaim your freedom and release. Set us free from all that holds us back from proclaiming your glory. Rejoice in the Lord, give thanks to his holy name. We rejoice, O Lord, in your justice. Guide the nations in ways that enable all people to sing for joy. Restore your balance in trade and cohesive living. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to his holy name. We rejoice, O Lord, in your favour. Pour out your grace on our communities that they may abound in your love. Bless our homes and those closest to us with whom we delight in your praise. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to his holy name. We rejoice, O Lord, without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances. May we hold fast through whatever trials may beset us. God of peace, sanctify and keep us in your faithfulness. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to his holy name. We rejoice, O Lord, in your eternal mercy. Hold dear to yourself all who have passed from glory to glory. Count us acceptable in your sight at your coming again. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to his holy name. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just before I say our final verse, prayers for you as we walk this week of Advent, this strange week of advent where advent four and christmas eve fall on the same day there will be no monday morning prayer um, recorded and available online on monday the 25th of december as it's christmas day and services from the cathedral a number of them will be live streamed on christmas eve and christmas morning um, recorded online morning prayers will be available again from the 26th of December, the Feast of Stephen. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen.